Alright, hey everybody, Liam Does Game here, and welcome back to another episode of Unturned. So, today we're going to do the gun guide for Kuwait. Now, basically, we have ourselves 13 different weapons from the new update, and I'm gonna go over each and every one of them, we're gonna talk about them. So, if you guys want to see more gun guides in the future, in different maps, uh, let me know in the comment section below, drop a like, let's try to reach 100 likes, if we reach 100 likes, I will be very happy. And if you guys are interested to join a mythical giveaway, feel free. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's just start. So, all around here, I have every single new weapon. And we're gonna talk about in detail in each one of them. We're gonna talk about the basics, damage, range, and all of that. So, let's start. So, first over here, we have the Mirage. Now, this gun is a bolt-action rifle chambered in high-caliber military. Its rarity is legendary. It is a secondary gun. Believe it or not, this sniper right here is only a secondary gun. You could put it in main, but, you know, like, you imagine, like, you have a normal weapon, like an auto gun, and then this, you have this as a, as a backup. So, its ID is 5005, its maximum ammo capacity is 7, and it can go from safety to semi. Its range is 500 meters, which is a lot. And it takes tactical attachments, but it also comes with an inbuilt 8x scope. As for player damage, it gives 58.5 to the legs, 54 to the arms, 72 to the spine, and 99 to the head. And this is a raiding sniper. So, it, as you may see, it sounded very sexy, and uh, it gave 8% damage to the spine, I mean this palm wall. So, uh, yeah, that is the first weapon. Okay, so next we're gonna go over to the Monarchist. Now, this gun over here is a assault rifle chambered in military ammunition. It is also a legendary gun. It's a primary gun this time. Its ID is 5000 and its maximum ammo capacity is 21 and it can go from safety to three bullet bursts. So this is not an auto gun. This is a burst rifle and its recoil is kind of kind of too much as well. It's a pretty big recoil weapon. Its range is 200 meters, its fire rate is 4, so, I mean, it's burst, so it doesn't really matter, but, um, yeah. It takes barrels, tacticals, grips, and sights as attachments. As for player damage, it gives 25 to the legs, 23 to the arms, 31 to the spine, and 42 to the head, and this is not a raiding weapon. Okay, so next we're gonna go over the colonizer. Now, the colonizer is another bolt, action rifle chambered in civilian ammunition. Now this gun, this gun's rarity is uncommon, it is a primary gun, its ID is 5032, its maximum ammo capacity is 10, and it can go from safety to semi. Its range is 300 meters, it takes barrels, tacticals, grips, and sights as attachments. As for player damage, it gives 39 to the legs and arms, 62 to the spine, 85 to the head, and this is not a raiding weapon. Okay, so next we're gonna go over to the only pistol that was added in Kuwait, which is called the Catalyst. Now, the Catalyst is a burst pistol chambered in civilian ammunition. It is a rare gun, it is a secondary weapon, obviously, it is a pistol. Its ID is 5009, its maximum ammo capacity is 18. This is a burst pistol, but it can also go to semi, and its range is 75 meters. It takes tacticals, barrels, and sights as attachment, so you could put an 8x scope on this if you feel like it. I don't recommend, but, you know, you could. And as for player damage, it gives 14 damage to the leg, 16 to the arms, 20 to the spine, and 31 to the head. And obviously, since this is a pistol, it's not a raiding weapon. Next, we're gonna go over to this gun, which is called the Air Biter, which is basically an Echo, but... This is an admin gun. It looks like a normal Echo with a military suppressor built in, but I assure you it is not. As you guys may see right now, the bullets aren't going down. I am barely touching my mouse. Its recoil is mad and it's infinite ammo. This is an admin gun. That That's pretty much it. It's just an admin gun. It's pretty cool that they added that. I have no clue why they added that, but like we've had the golden heat wave, the thick golden heat wave in Elver and in this map we have the air bitter or biter i don't know how to say it okay so next we have the l musate here now this is hopefully i pronounced it well but i tried my best okay so this gun is basically a assault rifle chambered in ranger ammunition its rarity is rare it is a primary gun its id is 5011 its maximum ammo capacity is 30 
which can go from semi to four shot burst. This is another burst gun which has four shots. Which is kind of kind of cool. I don't really see any four shot but four shot bursts in unturned, but oh uh, yeah, that is what it has. Its range is 200 meters. Fire rate is five. It takes sights, grips, and barrels as attachments. And as for player damage, it gives 17 to the legs and arms, 21 to the spine, and 38.5 to the head. And obviously, it doesn't trade. Okay, so next we're gonna go over the galvanizer. Now this gun, I couldn't put it in a rifle rack because it's way too big. But it is this, this galvanizer, this big thing over here, which I'm going to assume is like a quest item, a quest weapon you could get, or craftable, but very hard to craft. Uh, but this is the galvanizer. Now its rarity is mythical, it is a primary gun, its ID is 5035, its maximum capacity is 100, and it can only shoot 5 shot bursts, which is kind of weird. As you guys may see, it is that that is what it is. It is electrical, um, it is very loud, but it's pretty cool. It looks, like, it looks like an electricity gun by the looks of it, it's very nice, I really really like this one. Its range is 200 meters, it doesn't take any attachments, and as for player damage, it gives 53 to the legs, 44 to the arms, 80 to the body, and 98 to the head. And it's obviously a hurting weapon. Now, this gun over here is OP. So it's 200 meter range, if you shoot a person in the head twice, now this is a burst gun, okay? Five shot burst minigun from electricity, god knows what it is, uh, with 200 meter range. It's OP, it's truly, truly OP. Uh, but yeah, that is the galvanizer. Next, we're gonna go over to the palm rifle. Now, the palm rifle is basically like a pine rifle and a birch rifle, but it's palm because, you know, we're on Kuwait. And basically, this is a bolt action rifle, which can be crafted and chambered in rifle ammunition, which also can be crafted. Its rarity is common. It is a primary gun. Its ID is 5041. Its maximum ammo capacity is 5, and it can shoot semi. Its range is 175, it takes sights, barrels, and tacticals as attachments. And as for player damage, it gives 30 to the legs and the arms, 51 to the spine, and 66 to the head. And obviously, it is not a raiding weapon. Next, we're gonna go over to the Dust Storm or the Sandstorm. Now, this gun is one of the only auto guns that was added in this update. Its rarity is epic, it is a primary gun, its ID is 5012, its maximum ammo capacity is 30, and it can shoot semi and auto. Its range is 200 with a fire rate of 6, it takes sights, tacticals, grips, and barrels as attachments, and as for player damage, it gives 16.5 to the legs and the arms, 20 to the spine, and 36.3 to the head, and obviously this is not a raiding weapon. Okay, so next we have ourselves the sun crack weapons. Now one, two, three, they are basically all the same, except by the looks of it, it's like the the stock is different color. Other than that, they are pretty much the same. So basically each and every single one of them is a epic rarity. They're all primary. Their IDs are 5,000 entry, 5,042, and 5,043. Their maximum ammo capacity is 30, and they can only shoot semi. Its range is 350 meters, which is truly insane for a semi-gun, semi-assault rifle, and it takes sights, tacticals, grips, and barrels with attachments. As for player damage, it gives 17 to the legs and the arms, 43 to the spine, and 57 to the head, and is not a raiding weapon. This gun is pretty OP in my opinion, 350 meter range, semi, imagine you put an 8x scope and then you just spam it. If there was a guy there, 350 meters range from that, he would have been killed. It's very, very good, and um, yeah. So next we're gonna go over to the final gun. Now this gun is called a Viper, which is, you know, the same as the Washington Viper that we know. But it is actually different. The Viper, as you guys may see, even the reloading is, you know, when you whip it out, its animation is different, it is a rare. Uh, weapon is the only SMG as well that was added to this update. It is a primary weapon, which from the un from the unturned Viper that we know from Vanilla, it's a secondary, but this one is a primary, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, its ID is 5022, its maximum ammo capacity is 25, just like the real Viper that we know, and it can shoot auto and semi. Its range is 200 meters with a fire rate of 6, it takes sights, tacticals, and grips. 
As for player damage, it gives 12 to the legs and the arms, 16 to the spine, and 22 to the head. And uh, yeah, that's all of the weapons. Now, other than that, there are other weapons, but they are the normal vanilla guns, such as Snake Perska and some others. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys want to see more videos like these, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I will be uploading more, especially uh, in the coming days. We're gonna have a video where we're gonna talk about all of the Kuwait items, such as buildables, basically everything. So make sure that you guys look out for that. And also a vehicle guide. I'm gonna have a bunch of guys for you guys. So I hope that you guys are looking forward to those. And yeah, without wasting any more time, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!